Ladies and gentlemen, the truth is back on the map like he never left. Congratulations to Errol Spence for a dominant unanimous decision over one of the top welterweights in the world, Danny Garcia. There were a lot of questions coming into this bout. The million dollar question after the car crash is Errol Spence the same. And tonight, Errol Spence proved to the world that he's back better than ever, especially overcoming everything he'd been through for the past year. Errol Spence was more dedicated, more focused, and 100% locked in, which paid off with the spectacular performance he put on tonight. This fight was worth every single penny. It was a toe-to-toe -to -toe action in which Errol Spence was able to dominate Danny Garcia from the outside and the inside. Nevertheless, Danny Garcia was very game. He was still dangerous at any point during the fight. So from the first bell, Danny Garcia tried to capitalize on the moment by starting fast, knowing that Errol Spence is coming off a car accident in which he survived in a miracle way. However, it was the other way around. Errol Spence met him in the middle of the ring and he took little to no time to start investing to the body from the jump like he always does. Errol Spence always go to the body like it's filled with candy. Errol Spence also utilized the jab to his advantage by controlling Danny Garcia and working off the jab, landing great combinations. I was actually a little bit surprised that Errol Spence picked up the pace as fast as he did. Knowing that he's coming off the longest layoff of his career and also the car accident. But Errol Spence wasted little to no time to show Danny Garcia that he's back like he never left. On the other hand, Danny Garcia was gamed himself. He tried his best to get Errol Spence respect. He actually managed to slip some great body shots. However, that got overshadowed by Errol Spence's work rate and also his defense. Errol Spence was very gamed and he was extremely sharp tonight. Errol Spence managed to win the majority of the rounds during the first half of the fight. And during the second half, Errol Spence really turned up. He started applying a lot of pressure on Danny Garcia, especially on the ropes. Danny looked extremely uncomfortable. Danny really didn't have no answer for Errol Spence's inside game. Errol was breaking him down, punishing him on the ropes. By far, this is the most punishment Danny Garcia received throughout his career. And as soon as this fight started to look like Mikey Garcia part two, that's when Danny Garcia came on strong in the later rounds. And it seemed like Errol Spence let off the gas from the previous rounds, which allowed Danny Garcia to hop back in the fight. But nevertheless, in the 11th and the 12th round, Errol Spence went back to work, applying a lot of pressure on Danny Garcia, which granted him the victory by dominant decision. Overall, this was an A-level performance by Errol Spence, knowing the fact that he's coming off his longest layoff and also a car accident in which a lot of people doubted him. However, he proved everybody wrong. I don't think this is the best version of Errol Spence because during the post-fight interview, Errol Spence did state that he was a little gassed during the later part of the fight because of everything that he went through. However, with a level of dedication that Errol Spence is on right now, a fight from now, he's going to be back 100% and more dangerous than ever. In my book, Errol Spence's resume and the performance he put on tonight that placed him pound for pound number two, right behind Terrence Crawford. Now, will we see the fight of the decade next? That's the million dollar question. Obviously, Terrence Crawford was in the crowd but just like Terrence said, he does not want to fight Errol Spence till he's back 100%. And me personally, I don't want to see the fight next till Errol Spence is 100%. Because one thing about Errol Spence, even when he was cutting short corners, he never gassed out. And the fact that he felt like he gassed out in the later rounds against Danny Garcia, a fight he was dominating Danny Garcia in, it's fair to say we got to see him against another A-level fighter in the welterweight division. Currently, he's the number one welterweight and number two pound for pound. However, before taking the fight of the decade, it'd be wise for Errol Spence to have another tune-up fight against the A-level fighter. And I know it sounds crazy 
when I say another tune-up fight against another A-level fighter. But when you talk about the truth, we talk about the real deal. And that's Errol Spence. So drop what was your take on the fight in the comment section below. Join me tonight on Blow by Blow. We're going to recap the whole night. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to get notified every time I post or go live on Split Decision is a boxing debate slash talk show. Mix, master, engineer, produced by yours truly, Aki. The past, present, and future undisputed pound for pound when it comes to debating. So call in, tune in, and to be continued on the next episode of Aki, Aki, Aki TV. Peace, and we at you.